everybody. Welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I am Johnny Chiodini. I hope you can all hear me all right. It seems like you can, so that's good news. I'm going to sneeze. Okay, there we go. Sneeze is out of the way. Well, the first one, anyway. <laughs> no, we're good. Um, hello. Let's just double check that focus, shall we? How is everybody doing today? Uh, today, we are going to be playing the truly, truly excellent Death's Door. Um... Let me just pop the gameplay audio on. And then... Oh, that's loud. Uh, tell you what. Options. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Okay. That's, that seems like a more tolerable level. Let me know if that, that audio balance is all right. Um, and hello to everybody watching. Um, hello to... Uh, oh, I need to tab to stroll. Stroll? Scroll. Um, uh, hello to uh, GKC07, Phil Mc3, Brooke Boyd, Cameron Thomas, Daniel J. Vaughan the third, a chartreuse goose, man bun, additionally multiple friends, team people, cookie cat94, nevermore, Jack Keynes, uh, Abby Marie, Daniel, no, already did that one, Stephanie M, Hi We, uh, Reese, Will, Bradette, uh, Kobe Morris, BP Phantom, Peter Fisher, uh, Jan Christofferson, Alex Simpkin, Aiden Folks, CO Tog, Man Coy, Nick Jeffrey, uh, nowhere man, nowhere man, <laughs> Rob Cunningham, that one with the beard, Stonewolf, Eleanor, Hippie 2 Hoplite 22, Revolver Rock, whole bunch of you in the chat, um, but, uh, yeah, um, I don't know how much you've seen of this game, I know that Eurogamer, uh, streamed it yesterday, and I thought, oh gosh, I, I think I share a fair chunk of my audience with them, should I stream something else, and then I thought, I just really, really want to stream this game because it's absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to start a new save. We're going to go straight from uh, the very beginning and see how far we get in the next sort of four hours or so. So, yeah. Um, hope everyone's doing okay. It is. It continues to be extremely warm. But that's all right. A bus. Now arriving at Reaping Commission Headquarters. End of the line. Pun on death there. Ooh, Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying, we'll be revisiting this goodness after I finish my meetings for the day. In the meantime, don't forget to drink your Jaeger bombs, everyone. Oh no. <laughs> everyone stay hydrated, but not necessarily with Jägermeister. Uh, I, for one, am enjoying a nice, refreshing pint of water. Alex Usher says, what is this game? I know literally nothing about it. It is sort of an action-adventure game, sort of a bit Zelda-like. Um, and that's all I'm going to tell you, because it's best to go in cold with this game. Suffice it, suffice it to say, I am a little crow. I've just reached Reaper headquarters, and I have a little glowing sword on my back. It's a little noodle bar here with a little skull ramen sign. A nice refreshing paint of water. Well, you behave yourself. Yeah, you're clear. Move it along, bud. That's Paul Ball Plart, head of security. Very good. The Hall of Doors, Reaping Commission headquarters. Better get moving. Don't want to be late, right? Says Badger the Reaper. Oops, I can't go that way, though. Do a little roll. Chandler the Handler says, Well, well, well. Look who showed up for work. No worms for you, because only the early bird ca- Never mind. Anyway, it's your lucky day. I actually have a soul for you to reap. And not just any soul, a giant soul. Think of the commission on that. I hope you haven't forgotten your training. Stay on your talons. Giant souls don't often go peacefully. Dropping in your door for you now. All right. <laughs> With a soul that size, you might even be able to afford some time off. But remember, 
Your door will remain open until you return with your designated soul. While your door is open, you will be mortal and you will age. So get it done quickly. Reaping souls to power the doors, just so we can reap more souls. And the cycle repeats forever. The rat race. Anyway, get to it and be careful. If you die, it's going to be a lot of paperwork, and I don't have the time. All right, let's get this done. So yeah, we're basically little little bird works for the Reaping Commission to go and find souls that are due to be taken, um, and uh, goes and nabs them. Nick Jeffrey has done a super chat saying, "Hey Johnny, why did Death call his manager? He wanted to pull a sickle." Hoping to start the puns off early today. Thank you very much for the super chat, Nick. I've not actually heard that joke before. And, um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, buh, buh, buh. I mean, I've, yeah, the, the puns are, they're incoming, right? Like, there's, you must have some good Corvid puns in the, in the bank, all of you. Tap A to roll. I just love all the, lovely sort of details in this game there are lots of lovely incidentals that i hope to show you over the course of this stream like this little little fella that will follow me around but if i show aggression we'll run away and hide abby marie says crow somersaults and revolver rock says no time for chat get moving you are aging yes this is very true can't hit that it's on a pedestal Oh, I'm sorry, little buddies. However, hold LT to aim and hold B to charge your arrow. Done it. You can see in the top there, um, top left, I have four arrows in my inventory. You get those back by striking things like mushrooms or, more commonly, enemies. Womp that. We've opened up a shortcut. It's just like Dark Souls. I was playing this and thinking to myself, like, oh, the com comparisons to Dark Souls are going to be irritating in this. Right, here we go. Demonic Forest Spirit. What I really like about the enemies in this game is as they start to take damage, you see sort of glowing cracks start to appear in them. It's a really good way of showing how damaged they are without sh just showing you a health bar. It bloody lovely. What, what new devilry is this? Ugh. Stop that. Why can't I hit you? Oh, I've already hit that side enough, I think. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. Out the way. Dodge, dodge, dodge. You're very crackly now. Oh, Sammy Jai says, I'm having the worst week and this looks like some adorable escapism. This game really is lovely. I'm sorry you're having a tough week, though. Um, almost as soon as I started playing this, I thought, I want to play this again already. Like, I've, I've not even got past the first 10% of it, but I want to play it again already. There's my soul. Wait a minute. Hello, small plants. Will says, you know why Zelda like, uh, why this Zelda like has lots of comparisons with Dark Souls, right? It's because Dark Souls is a Zelda game. This is true. Little, little dancing things. Little sod off. Oh, 
Ah, oh, Coda Blair says, first Johnny livestream. Hope that it's a good one. Hello, Coda. I will do my very best. Um, despite the heat. I will do my very best to make this an entertaining four hours. Well, three hours and 50 minutes now. I really love the protagonist. I think they're really, really sweet. But also, um, if you look at the game's description on Steam, they are non-binary. They use they, them pronouns, which is really lovely. Scott Perkins has done a super chat saying, This game looks glorious. Don't know how long I'll hang out. Down in Cornwall, visiting my parents as an escape from London and need to cool off, so I might take a dip in the river. Post, I promise I'll post photos to Discord. That sounds absolutely delightful. You go have a dip. Because the thing is, you can watch this anytime. But you can't always get in a river. Hello. You collected a life seed. Yahaha. Etc. Etc. Planting one of these in a green pot will yield soul fruit, which can be consumed to restore your health. What would your soul fruit be? If your soul took the form of a fruit, what would that fruit be? Mine would be a kiwi? Like, tasty. Lots of differing opinions on how to deal with me. <laughs> furry. As in fuzzy, not, I'm not a furry. But, anyway. Okay. Hello there. Hmm, you're non-aggressive. We shall leave you be. Even though I could probably kill them and harvest their soul. But you know. Speaking of souls. You collected a massive soul energy. Izzy Sophia says a lime. Rob Cunningham would be a durian. A secret emerald would also be a durian. Spiky and stinky, but surprisingly nice. They called her Babylon would be Rhubarb. JW says, only just turned up, but loving that top. Hope you're all staying hydrated. Thank you. It's because I got my shoulders tattooed yesterday. So I'm having to be a little bit gentle on them. Uh, it was just the line work, so I'm not in too much pain. But um, in a couple of weeks, we'll go back and shade it. And then all hell will break loose on my shoulders. Hello. Aha, a door. Let's go through it. Little crow, do I sense a glut of soul energy? Come here and you can trade in those souls to get an edge in combat. Deep, 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 deep. Welcome to the Soul Vault. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? Can I afford any of these? No, I can't. But you've got four core stats. Four core stats. Am I right? Um, strength, which is increases damage. Dexterity, charges your melee and ranged attacks faster. Uh, greater base speed with the this. And uh, more damage with spells and ranged abilities with the last one. Let's just go talk to our handler. Oh no. You've lost your assigned soul? That's the one thing we didn't want to happen. Well, get back out there and don't come back until you've found it. Yikes. Who's this now? Badger the Reaper. Oof, you lost your assignment. That's rough, buddy. It's been so quiet the few last few years. Advanced in medicine or something, I expect. So annoying. We need a new plague. I'm going to go broke. Yeesh. Right, well, let's get back out there then and try and find I guess we'll try and find the soul Mankoy says I don't think you had the proper cause to make that pun Johnny Ugh. ooh another glut of soul energy don't mind if I do 
Look at the water in the waterfall. It is beautiful. This game is gorgeous and I love it. Hello, another another life seed. Nothing else around here. No fall damage because we're a bird, which is a delight. Doom, doom. Hello. Thank you. And the door unlocks. Smashy, smashy. I like that the uh, little padlocks get uh, extinguished as you uh, snub out their lives. <laughs> Let's plant a seed, shall we? So that's a soul fruit. Uh, and you can eat that to regain all your health. But you have to go and visit them. Ugh. Ow! So there you go. We took a bit of damage. Ah, we'll be fine. I won't go eat that fruit just yet. Let's have this key. Hit that. Oh, actually, if we're going that way, we may as well. Will says, I was watching a crow play in the tree behind my house the other day. It flew to the top of the tree, then fell off sideways, bounced to the bottom, and then flew back up to the top about eight times. That is bizarre. I once saw a, a crow skating on a takeaway lid down a slanted roof. That was pretty fun. It did that several times while I was watching. Crows are pretty all right. That, in fact, they're sort of my favourite birds. Right, so. Uh, this way to the summit. Uh, can't go that way just yet. Ooh, is this a secret? Secret? Se no. Fine. But it looks like there was a door with a key, or a door with a lock, rather. And we have a key. So let's just... Carry on. So these guys, these little doodads, are basically the non-aggressive things, but wearing some sort of carnival mask that makes them very aggressive. But, clumsy. Your greatest mistake was falling over. Oh. So this came out yesterday, I believe. It's published by Devolver, and it's a bloody delight. Was it yesterday, or was it the day before? I think it was the day before. Uh, yeah, it was on the 20th, and I I absolutely adore it. I kind of... I didn't even know it was coming out until I saw Jen Simpkins, who used to be the editor of Edge, but now works at Media Molecule, <laughs> tweet about it, and I thought, whatever this is, I need to try it. And sure enough, it's a delight. Ow! So, it hasn't tutorialized us about them yet, but you do have a charge attack, which is this. And you can also roll and smack, which is pretty handy. <sighs> Albert Green says, late to the stream, how far is Johnny into it? Not very far at all. Mm -mm -mm. Emma Benton says, I've been looking forward to this since they showed it off at E3. Well, clearly I should have been paying more attention. But it was quite nice to have an E3 off, to be honest. Okie dokie. Who dis now? Ugh, a reaper. My time in this world is over. Hmm. Unfortunately, I am still alive. Sorry. Maybe if you try hitting me with a harder attack? Hold RT to charge attack. Hmm. No. Still here and still very much alive. Perhaps try a bit of a run-up? Roll with A and press RT while rolling. Mm, I'm sorry, it's not your fault. It happens to everyone. I'm afraid I am burdened with unending life. I can't explain it, and I've spent untold years seeking an answer. 
My name is Stedhone. I am the keeper of graves on this sacred mountain. Hmm. And if you do find yourself strengthened somehow, feel free to try and kill me again. Thanks, Stedhone. Here lies a guardian of the door, a preserver of order, and a home to stray souls. Law on a shoestring. You, you love to see it. You really do. Mm, another mass of soul energy. What is this? Secrets? No secrets. Is this place? This simple structure has a twin. A hidden secret lies within. All right. We'll keep an eye out for another one of those. Hmm. Can't do anything with that yet. Emma says, read one of the signs, slash it, and then read it again. This way to the stranded sailor. Hit. This <gasps> Oh, that's amazing. Incredible. Absolutely wonderful. I love it. It is great. This way to the summit. Let's do it again. <laughs> That's such a good detail. I just, I, I mean, it's it's gorgeous, but also the way you drop feathers when you roll, and like the little wisps of wind, and the sort of sort of blur on the background is absolutely delightful. But also, just little touches like that sign, just num 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 num, absolutely delicious. A lift, eh? In some form of door that I can't get through. Yeah. That was meant to be like a rolling smash. There we go. That's more like it. That's what I meant to do. Missed it. Little bastard. Hello! Oh, whoops. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Team People's done a super chat saying, currently finishing up a dungeon design for a session this Saturday, so this game is perfect for some background inspiration. Also, happy anniversary, much love. Thank you very much, Team People, for the... For the well wishes and for the super chat. Yeah, it's my fourth wedding anniversary today. Uh, my wife's off, off working and I'm streaming. So, you know, as you can see, we're really taking the time to appreciate one another today. Uh, we're going to get a takeaway or something tonight and just like, just chill out, I think. Just have a have an easy one. But yeah. Oh, Emily Hill uh, has done a super chat saying, Happy anniversary, Johnny. Get your wife something nice with a smiley emoji and a heart emoji. Thank you. I actually did. Um, the the tradition, there's sort of a traditional wed, like wedding gift for each year. Like the first year is paper, for example. That's not open. Uh, and four years, it is linen or silk. So I got my wife some linen pajamas. My wife got me a linen eye pillow that's like full of uh, flaxseed and lavender. So it's like an eye mask, but you just pff, you smash it on your face and the weight keeps it there, but also kind of adds pressure onto your eyes. And I used it earlier and I had an enormous nap. And oh my God, it's brilliant. So yeah, good times. Hmm. A magician of some sort. Come here. <laughs> Bunch of Zubats. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. 
Ow, ow, ow. Oh, no. Please don't die. No death, please. Yeah, they don't tell you about it later, but you can actually whack those little magic projectiles back at them, which is very handy if you get the timing right. Oh, would you ever stop? Oh, shit! Death. Well, back we, back we go. Back, back here we are. Which way do we even go? Oh, my sense of direction is bad. I think it was this way, and then over the bridge. Let's just keep going. Thank you for the Fs in chat. Oh, did you see that clip that came out of the um, the Smash Brothers like professional circuit where somebody was playing as Minecraft Steve? They smashed somebody off the screen, and as they started to come back, they managed to build an F out of blocks, and then they final smashed them out of the game and won. It was openly disrespectful and delicious. It was so good. The commentators just got, like, they, they didn't stay at their desk. They got up and ran around. And so, like, everyone was, the whole room was going wild. Um, and there was no commentary because the, um, the, uh, the commentators were just, just running around the place. Mattress 757 says, Johnny, you croaked. Very good pun. Um, yeah, do look up that that Minecraft clip if you can. It is brutal. Um, if anyone has a clip, can someone post that in the Discord? I will find it later on. It's in my Twitter likes, I think. Um, it is absolutely hilarious. But yeah, I will show you once I am done being a crow and having really bad aim it turns out right Stephen Robson says hi everyone have I missed much not much we're sort of still in the sort of first sort of tutorial-y zone ow shit come back here you coward Get away, little sprout thing. It's dangerous here. Oh, come on. Oh, there's there's fruit there. I might as well just go grab it. Forgot about that. Hello? Come here. Yes. I really like the mechanic of regaining ammo by using your sword and landing melee hits. It's just really neat. Like, no fuss. Makes you think about sort of combat balance. Oopsie. Ah, shite. Dickhead. Uh-oh. Gravity. Uh, Jan, I think you just tried to post a link to it in the chat, but, uh, unfortunately, I think my YouTube automatically nixes links. <gasps> oh my god, Revolver Rock says that. Suggests you're making bone arrows. I didn't even think about that. Come here. Oh, shit! I will not die to a... Bye! A little roly-poly bastard. Fuck! Ah, oh, I didn't die to this bit yesterday when I was trying. Ha! <laughs> Emily Hill says, I was watching Ian stream that game yesterday and saw a little Johnny Oni pop up to play and neither Ian nor Aoife was surprised by it and said, that's a very them game. Yes. Ah. Right. 
We're going to do it right this time. Let's go smash all of those enemies in their stupid faces. F again, says never likely. Yes, yes. Okay, hang on. Just need to get my... There we go. I need to move my headphone wire because it's rubbing against my collarbones and that's painful. There we go. All right. This time we're not going to consume that soul fruit quite so early on. You weird little undead burgy type area. Oh no, here I go with the Dark Souls comparisons now. Actually, it reminds me a bit more of the um, cemetery in Kakariko Village in uh, Ocarina of Time. Take that, comparisons. Whoop. Okay. This time, we do it right. Hello, you shit wizard. Oh. Come here. This is going better, they said, probably jinxing themselves. Stay down, you strange rolling bucket man. Wizards! One still alive? Yes. For now. No one's impressed, twirling magic caster. No one's impressed at all. Whoa, that was close. There we go. I've got my eye in now. Feels like, anyway. It's these little grabby bastards that are my least favourite. Take that. Assholes. Right. Stephen Robson says, how far did you get, Johnny, uh, yesterday? Not super far. Um, I'll, I'll let you know when I've passed how far I got, but not, not mega, mega far. Crump. That's good. Another shortcut. Burrito has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, how are you doing? Hi Burrito, I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Um, I'm playing a game that I dearly, dearly love. Um, and we're about to fight a castle. So, it's always a good day when you get to do that, quite frankly. Guardian of the door. Hello, Guardian. Whoop, steady on. Ah! Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Let's back it up. Ah, missed. What? Whoa. This... Ow! That was a bad thing that happened to me just then. Shit, shit. Fuck. Oh no, stop missing. Sorry about my um my liberal use of expletives today, but um I mean, if you've ever seen me play a game like this before, I, I dare say you won't be surprised. I I curse like a sailor most of the time anyway, but especially when I'm having to play action combaty type things. Um, okay, 
hang on. Clem's done a super sticker. It is a, a hippo. Uh, it is munching on the word one up with its mouth. Like, and every time it does that, the word one up um, uh, lights up. Mantra757 says this fight very much reminds me of Metal Gear Rex. Yeah, I know what you mean. Shit. Or oh. I have to say, I've done a couple of like sort of harder enemy encounters like this while playing this game, and uh, it's like I carry a little little ether around in my head, just saying, "Don't get greedy," because uh, that is the worst thing you can do in this game is being be in um, range to attack and just spend too long just trying to get the hits in rather than making sure that you can get out of the way of an attack like that one. I mean, I would love to chain a few more. Shit! Oh my god! That was short, like solely by luck of the hitbox that I survived that one. Wowie. I want to get some more in, but so I dearly love some ammo, but you know what? On one health, it's better to be alive than dead with a full quiver. I think that was, it was George Bernard Shaw first said that. There we go. Whew. Kind of like all the best games. It's kind of... Um, it's kind of sad when that happens. Because it's sort of beautiful. It's like Shadow of the Colossus. Where you're like, I'm glad I beat that boss. But also it's a shame that that thing has been taken from the world. Which is brilliant. Or as Person McReal fellow put it. Ah! Church laser! Thank you. <laughs> okay. Right, we're through. Hack some mushrooms. This way to the overgrown ruins, and this way to the summit. Okay, can we, we can't go that way, not just yet. <laughs> Clem says, ah, sorry for interrupting the boss fight, do not worry. Yeah, Brodat says watching the church crumble is, uh, sorry, the castle crumble is heartbreaking. It weirdly is, isn't it? Okay, there's a lever here, we shall push it. Where does it lead? Should lead back down to Stedhone. Does it? Yes. In a very roundabout way. Hi, Stedhone. Chaos says English Heritage are going to be very upset when they find out what you just did. I know. Yikes. Hmm. That casual dragon says, okay, my regular accessibility questions. Are there difficulty settings and can you remap keys or buttons? That is a great question. Yes to rebinding. Um, it looks like you can rebind um, on the mouse and keyboard and hopefully controller. As for difficulty settings, I suspect not. I don't think there are difficulty settings. Which is a shame, um, but hope, hopefully the um, you know rebinding will make it accessible to you. That casual dragon, Nick Jeffrey's done a super chat now. It is uh, the same hippo, but the same hippo. Oh, it's the one where the hippo does the thing. That's a bit weird. The hippo is wearing some sort of green um, and white sort of camo or diving suit and goggles, and goes like air. Eh? And then kind of just goes like, <coughs> almost to reload its arm. But it kind of looks like it's just, you know, um, well. <coughs> but yeah, anyway. Um, EJ says, oh, hurrah, you're playing the goth Zelda thingy. I watched Eurogamer playing last night. Yep, there you go. Tactical hippos of Seatog. Thank you very much for the super sticker, Nick Jeffrey. I really appreciate it. Aha! Good. Plant seed. They're combat signs, Johnny. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, it's doing that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Splinter Cell Ref. 
Anyway, consume. Consume the soul fruit. Hello, key. May I? No. But who's this? KP's on a super chat saying, I'm thrilled that your channel mascot is a boar because the boar has a unique meaning to me. I wish you a wonderful day, Johnny. Thank you, KP. The boar has a unique meaning to me as well, which is why I picked it, because I think they're bloody great. Oh, and Never Likely's done a super chat saying, missed a few streams because of being in Newcastle, so have some monies. Also, hello, you shit wizard. Sounds like how Ox Venturers would greet Liliana. <laughs> Thank you, Never Likely, for the super chat. And yes, that is a very good read on how they feel about Liliana these days. Um... Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Now, this this little this little massive crow has some explaining to do. Oh, hello, little fledgling. Sorry about the crack on the head, but I needed that soul. You see, I was a reaper just like you. Years ago, my assignment evaded capture. It took many months to track it down to this location. On arrival, I discovered it had somehow passed through this door. Inconceivable. Do you know where we are, Fledgling? But that's the name of the game! The end point for all life. I thought it was just a legend. As you know, all doors are powered by the energy of souls. Perhaps, with a truly monumental amount of power, even this one could be forced open. Sadly, the soul I stole from you was not enough. I'm afraid that our fates are very much intertwined now, Fledgling. For with your in assignment incomplete, your death is now an inevitability. Without the soul that now resides behind this door, you are trapped, just like me. However, fortune may still smile upon us. The curse, this cursed land is hidden to the reapers, somehow untouched by the laws of nature. The creatures here have the potential to live vastly beyond their years, growing ever larger and more powerful. I know of three such beings on these isles whose combined soul energy could grant us the power to wedge this door open. To the north lives an old witch obsessed with escaping the clutches of death. Beyond the forest to the east, a self-proclaimed king rules over the ruins of a flooded cathedral. And atop the mountain to the west, a beast of untold years, primal and vicious with no want or desire. I am truly sorry to have entangled you, fledgling, but in my advanced years my body grows weary. Your path is your own now, but either venture into the wilds and no wait, either venture into the wilds and reap those giant souls, or choose inaction and suffer the same fate as this old fool. This is how our grandkids are going to be, like when we're like, sorry that the planet's really, really donked up. We tried to stop the billionaires. We posted lots of memes, and we joked about guillotines all day long. But sadly, nothing worked. Pick up. Okie dokie. I think we can talk to him one more time. Uh, Emily Hill has done a, a super, super sticker. It is of a peach that looks like a butt. Emily, I like your style. No nonsense, just straight to it. But. Do you wish for guidance on where to head next? I suggest you head north. There lives an old witch obsessed with escaping death. Let's go donk a witch! <laughs> Hannah Axelson says, I don't trust the big crow, and I think you better proceed with caution. <laughs> yeah. This way to the urn witch's mansion. Ooh, what are you? Crump. What's down here? Is this just another shortcut? Yeah. Yes.
Yes, 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 yes. Rhymes with Moose says, isn't a peach that looks like a butt a bit redundant? You get flat peaches and they don't look like butts. So I thought it was a, a worthwhile distinction. But I do, I do take your point. I love that the the wings sort of look like a cape and that they have a little scarf. I d I'm in love with this design, to be honest. Already. Apparently this game was made by two people, I think, which is genuinely so impressive. Which way to go? I feel like this will be a dead end with possibly an item. Item? Lovely. Oh, not a dead end. Let's keep exploring. Ah. Mm. Ah, leave it. Ho, ho. Oh. But we can't go that way. Sorry about it, buddy. But, you know, if you will attack crows in, in dungeons. Wait. Absolutely bloody gorgeous, isn't it? Lots of attempted murder jokes being bandied about. Good stuff, chat. Keep it up. All right, here we go. Let's see what's next. Smashy, smashy. Yeah, this is what we really came here for. Smashing up boxes and pots. Pick up. Eh. I'm sure it would be a health and safety nightmare to engineer, but can you imagine if you had like a... It would have to be like an unofficial, like, hero's experience where you get given just a blunt sword and there's a room full of vases and you're just allowed to go in and smash them. Um... So... Rexel says, hi, uh, hi all, at Johnny, why no music? Because uh, the game only has music at certain points. It's atmospheric. You should be able to hear it all right, though. Hopefully you can hear me smashing up things and rolling around. But yeah, I, I don't really go in for putting my own music on streams. I find it a little bit off-putting. Right. What does this sign mean, say? Burn your weapons and spread joy. Ah, yes. Marie Kondo, the war faring years. Lovely. We are going to go through that gate, but first we're just going to have a little run around in the leaves. Because. Look at this. It's gorgeous. There's some music. There we go. Ah, oh, they have a rage room in the US, says Nathaniel Levy, and Zeon123 says, in Tokyo, I believe there is a shop that lets you smash up old stuff in a room for a fee. Ah. Right, let's get some, make sure our arrows are full. And then... Ta-da! Let's go attack some more defenseless mushrooms and turn them into arrows. I just, like, I just really like there to be a themed rage room where you get a sword and a green tunic and you can, it's soundproof so no one can hear you being like, hip cat. Just having a, having a right old time, you know. This way to the Urn Witch's mansion. Secrets? 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 Aha. 
Possibly. Possibly. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Uh, now I don't, I don't know loads about crows. But I don't think swimming is their forte. So I'm going to leave this. Clem has done a super chat to say, Attempted murder, surely it's manslaughter, unless there is probable cause. <laughs> We've got to get past core as, a, as the root of the pun now, everyone. I know you can do it. That one was good, but we can we can we can branch out, you know. There we go. Let's just let's pop through this door, shall we? Right, estate of the Urnwitch. So it's now a door, so we can go straight there, which is great. Because I didn't fancy going all the way back. <gasps> Wait a minute. What? <gasps> I didn't see this before. Look at me go. I'm beautiful. Eh. Let's see what the actual damage is. Damage times 0 0.5. Range times 2.5. Swing time. Okay. So it does half damage. So maybe we won't Adopt this as our new weapon, but it's bloody lovely. Although Emma Benton makes a good point. Smash the bastard wizards with the umbrella. There you go. The ghost of Laura Palmer just says, fashion. Hello, everyone. I promise I'm working very, very hard. Whee! Welcome to the Soul Vault. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? You damn skippy, I would. I would like to get faster at attacking. Yes, please. Great. Grove of Spirits. No, we want the Estate of the Urnwitch again, don't we? Lovely. Estate of the Urnwitch. Marie Hull says, is the crow from Umbrella Corp? Who's this now? Oh, hello there, my big first fellow. It is quite unusual to see one of your kind upon these aisles. I imagine you must be here for a soul. Not me, I should hope. Anyway, it seems our paths have intersected at an opportune moment. You may not have noticed, but I have been cursed with an unusual affliction. Alas, judge me not by the shape of my head but by the deliciousness of the soup inside. Pothead. <laughs> well, my manners, I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance, big face. It would seem that my journey has reached an impasse. I haven't been able to overcome the obstacles ahead and unlock the iron gates. If you will help me move on, I should be indebted to you and we could push forward. Uh, together. Clem has done another super chat. Say, a group of crows ganged up and killed a, killed almost all the chickens. Murder most foul? <laughs> yes, Clem! We love to see it. Oh, also, I missed a super chat from Burrito. Sorry, Burrito. Hold on. Clem, that was great. Uh, Burrito says, any plans to play the latest Zelda remaster? Yeah. Um... I didn't actually uh, play Skyward Sword the first time round, so I would very much like to. Because um, uh, I, I absolutely love Twilight Princess. Well, it's one of my favourite Zelda games. I think it's actually quite underrated. Um, I, have, I never finished Breath of the Wild. Uh, I didn't finish um, A Link to the Past remaster either. So I've got quite a lot of Zelda to catch up on, but that's not a bad thing. Maybe as a stream. Right, anyway, right. What were we doing? Yes, I remember now. Hold on. Let's just go back towards um, not not secret of secret of Katarina. I think we have to. Oh, that's right. We just have to explore. That's fine. Right, I'm going to kill some enemies with the um, with the umbrella just to make sure I can. But I'm not feeling super optimistic about this, really, given it does a quarter of the normal damage. 
which means that these enemies have to be hit 12 times? Oh no, maybe not 12. But still quite a lot. <coughs> yeah, I think maybe not. Let's just equip the sword again. Fonzie the Capybara says we need to spread our wings on these puns. There we go. Yep. Lovely leaves. Little spiral of them. Can't wait for autumn. Lovely cool temperatures. And also Watson absolutely loves running through leaves. Which is just adorable. Hello. Fa. I was feeling so confident. Oh well. We can plant a seed here. If it's alright with this archer. Fuck off. There we go. Uh, Ab Abdi Soyan Chulak 2. I almost certainly didn't say that right. Has done a super chat saying, What death related paperwork could Agatha possibly be working on? Corvidity tables? Yes! Yes! There we go. Absolutely love it. Beak performance on these puns, says Trickster Thing. Here we go. Sean O'Connor says, I guess we all flock together when it comes to puns. Thank you. Thank you very much. Plant seed. Oh, we don't have any seeds. Angel Beat's done a uh, super chat saying, now, now, beak on your best behavior, everyone. <laughs> oh, gosh. What internet users does this crow use? Chrome. Very good, EA122. REC says, if we ever do a Johnny Kia Discord meetup, we need to run through leaves. Done. That's it. That's all it's going to be. We're going to have a good run, romp through some leaves, then we're going to go. <laughs> the Garden of Peace. Let's see about that. Kin. Right. Johnny Corvidini. What a talented bunch, says Matt Bray. Very nice, Matt. Get out of it. Eh, 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 eh. Where are you? I'll murder the lot of you. Thought I saw a raven the other day, but it was actually one of the other Corvids. Guess you could say it was a rookie mistake. Linon says, fucking boards. Agreed. Hello, love. Hello, love. Behave. Behave. Boop. Oh. Fuck off. How how did that get booed, Sammy? Sammy Jai says boo, all in caps. Honestly. There we go. Jeremy Hull says a pirate was sailing a ship toward the shore when a small black bird stopped him from docking. Quoth the raven, nevermore. <laughs> oh no. Right. Hey mate. Most impressive. Now make haste and ignite the second lantern. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Harry Choi says, you have good crow puns, but you don't have to keep crowing about it. Very nice. Classy. Classy, that one. Enjoyed it. Right. Ow! In the... F oh, God! I will not die to this wretched archer. Take that, you absolute shit heap. Right. Oopsie. Where was that, um... 
I know we left some soul fruit back there somewhere. Let's just do this quickly. Lovely. I'm going to go back and heal and then, then return. Ooh, there's a seed there. But how do we get in? Hmm, not sure. Angel Beat says, oof, right in the feathers. And phoning it in somewhat, Pietro P says, something, something, foul play. Right. Emma Benton says, look for the gaps in the hedges. I will, it, I will uh, allow this one bit of... <gasps> Emma, you're pretty great. I, I'm going to allow that because I... I I, I really like having the seeds, but um, you actually you're all doing very very well at not backseating today. Although I'm just gonna I'm gonna press this button. I, I set up some new buttons on my stream deck. Does this work? Oh god, that did not work. Oh well. Uh, I, uh okay. I I set up my stream deck to let me um paste comments into YouTube chat, but that did not work. So there you go. Hey hi. Emma says, see, sometimes I am helpful. You're always helpful, Emma. I mean, sometimes you deliberately try and wind me up, but that's fine. Um, Richard Spears says, a crow kept me up all night, so I asked it why. Beak cause. <laughs> that one got me. Hannah Axelson still on Super Chat to say, do you think Pothead is the steward of the castle? Very good. Top work. Um, Corey O'Malley has done a super chat say, I don't know any good bird puns. Guess I'll have to wing it. A classic. you got to love it. I must have told you all... Ow. Oh, no, wait. I must have told you all the joke about the priest, the rabbi, and the crow, right? Uh, Ty C has done a super chat that's just an exclamation mark. <laughs> Thank you, Ticey, for the super chat. I hope you're not in danger or trouble. Um, but I, I do very much appreciate it. Okay, up we go. Okay, I mean, I suppose... Hang on. The Garden of Joy. Eh, do I want to plant a seed here? Kind of feels like we're just passing through this area. I'm going to save it. Ah, Revolve Rock said you told us about the priest, the rabbi, and the owl. That's right, because I thought that was the funnier one. So Rexel says, I do not remember such a joke, so I'm just going to tell it now anyway. Um, so a priest, a rabbi, and uh, we'll call it a crow this time, uh, walk into a bar. The, uh, the priest approaches the bar and says, uh, Hello, bartender. I am a Catholic priest. I believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of God, sent to die for our sins, um, and that we should praise him in every day with everything we do. So I would like a glass of communion wine, please. The rabbi steps forward and says, uh, Greetings, bartender. I am a rabbi. Uh, and as such, I do not believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of God, although I concede he was uh, a real man and uh, you know he was, he was an important person. Uh, therefore, I would like a glass of kosher wine, please. And the crow approaches the bar and just says, ah! Ah! There you go. That was probably really fucking loud, wasn't it? Sorry. Right. It's, um... It's, it's an acquired taste, that joke. I think it's fair to say. Bang! Lantern lit. Pietro P says, now it was okay. Good. And here come the booze. Very good. A seed! Hurrah! Well, some of you are enjoying that joke, so I consider my work here done. Hoorah! We can now venture onward, my steadfast companion, but first we should grant ourselves a moment of respite. Come, sit with me a while. Oh, apparently the crow lands better than the owl. There you go. REC says, I'll admit I don't get that. There's not much to get, it's just, it's a crow. So it's like, what were you expecting it to say? Of course it just said core. Trickster Thing says, is this game about the afterlife? Yes, I'm a reaper crow. I am supposed to take souls and ferry them back to um, my employers. Elliot Crane says, oh my god, finally caught a stream. Hello, Elliot Crane. Welcome aboard. I'm glad you made it. 
We're playing Death's Door. It's bloody marvellous. <clears throat> As I mentioned upon our meeting, I was not always quite so earthenware in appearance. This strange curse was visited upon me by the wicked old lady who resides in the mansion beyond his lavish gardens. Imagine you are here for her, are you not? Surely her soul must be swollen and ripe for the reaping due to her unnaturally extended years. I desire naught but to confront the old witch and request she undo her ceramic deed and restore me to my former handsome health. I was quite the looker, you know. Soup? No? So be it. Let us push on one more. Cthulian Dream says Pothead gets drunker and drunker the more he talks. Yeah, he's really stewed. <laughs> this is quite the hothead character, says Pietro P. Very good. Richard Spears says how to Corvid's party. They go Raven. Nice. Into that one. Right, now we will plant a, a seed here. We're going to go take out these archers, harvest their souls, as is good and proper. <laughs> Excuse me. That was fun. Smash the little screaming ball of energy into the um, thingy. Uh-oh. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> smash, smash, smash. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing quite like a jar full of screams to set you up first thing in the morning, is it? Colin Jacob says, just got here. Is Johnny a crow with a lightsaber? Yes. Right. What's this? Mm -mm. Ah. Flipping hell. Whoa. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Okay, we're setting a two attack m maximum. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I have to cough. Also, Isabel Lanzi has done a super sticker. It is uh, the lemon, of which we've spoken before. Um, the lemon is standing with... It's sort of it's moving its right hand and right leg in unison to kind of go like... Mwah! So the leg comes in with the hand, which goes to the mouth, and it goes, Mwah! Um, it seems... It, thank you for the, the, the super sticker of a lemon blowing kisses, Isabel. It is um, very nice. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was fighting a big bastard thing. Ah! Oh! Mattress 757 says, Lemons? Never likely says, Smell looks very different. Is very, very Onstein and Smell, isn't it? Right. Is it this way? Yes? Oh, shit! Fuck off. No, it's not this way, is it? Is it? Ugh. This what? One more up, says Emma. Thank you, Emma. It's not this way though. No. Where do crows go to get drunk? A crowbar? Oh, the crowbar. 
R.I.P. One of the best drinking spots in Soho. Ah, here we go. It's this way, isn't it? <laughs> Benjamin Murray says, Hey Johnny, is that a crow with a lightsaber and a laser bow? Jedi Obi-Wan Kronobi. You gotta respect the hustle. Was... Oh crap. Oh, poor little guys. Womp. Come on then. Ha ha. See, you tried to get a cheeky third one in there, and they all saw what happened, Johnny. You got hit, didn't you, with a giant mace? Ow! Yes, you did. Look, it's clearly very injured. You don't have to rush. See? Just have some class for once. Whee! Take that. Oh, that was fun. The Garden of Life. But what is the meaning of the Garden of Life? Souls! I wasn't necessarily answering the question there, but... It did seem fitting. Alright, we'll push on. Oh, goodness me. I can't believe it's already Thursday. Oh, was that a statue I didn't read? Or is it just the one that says the Garden of Life? It's just the Garden of Life. Revolver rocks are just levelling up. I could do. Verily. Okay. Oh, did I want to... Um... Oh, well. Guess this is happening. Yeah, we'll try and find a convenient time to level up. Because I can afford an... A new attribute increase, but I think increasing attributes you've already leveled up once costs 600. Oh, criminy. Loads of them. Oh, shit! I thought I was clear then. I was not. Oh, poor little guys. You can, if you time it right, get them to uh, roll into one another, and it is very funny. Just die, you pinwheeling bastards. Thank you. Honestly. Cheerful Spiders on a super chat saying, I invite you to my new favourite game, inserting goose in unrelated titles. Pride and Prejudice Goose. A goose runs through it. How to lose a goose in ten days. Uh, much ado about... Much, much a goose about nothing. Um... The Shawshank Goose Redemption. Not my best work, that one. What is this? Tell me your secrets. I wish to cross the forbidden waters. Uh, um. Tinker, Taylor, Goose, Soldier, Spy. <laughs> Brian Muller's done a super chat. A very large super chat. Uh, hi, Johnny. I hope the weather today is treating you a little better. It is delightfully cool here in Sydney, Australia. Please enjoy a slash some refreshments on me. I'll be back to watch the stream in the morning. Thank you so much. That's really kind. Um, I, I, I Verily, I shall. In fact, it's quarter past five. Probably go for a little break at six. And I might have a little beer. There was a lever. Aha! Fool me once. Shame on... You. Wait. Shame on... <laughs> Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Whee. Here we go. Ah! More fucking fighting, is it? Christ. Well, I think I covered that one well. <laughs> 
Gravity, gravity, gravity. Come back here, you fucking bastard. Come here. Oh, so close. Hey, look, look, look. Hey, boop, 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 boop. Oh, come off it. That was, oh, that was cheap. You, you're all mean and horrible. Bastards. Absolute bastards. A lot of yous. What are you? Rogue daggers? These blades can speedily inflict damage to an opponent. Death by a thousand cuts. You can equip it from the weapons menu. I think I will. Thank you. Damage 0.8, but six swings, and they are faster, but there's a smaller range. Oh, yeah. That's more me. That's... That's my that's my cup of tea right there. Let's swing some rogue daggers at some people. <laughs> Jack Wood just says, "A knife." Who there, my friend? I would make a good statue, would I not? Ha! And so here we are. The edifice may look a little wing, even becoming. However. Keep your wits about you. Untold dangers await us inside. Fivel Goose West. Well done, Simon B. Now let us dive from the precipice of adventure and into the belly of the beast. Together! All right, Pothead, let's do this. You go on ahead. I'll guard the door. All right. Whoa! Cool! That I did not expect. Ceramic Manor, the Urn Witch's Mansion. Spooky pots. Witchcraft! Might die here. Oh no, wait, look. Ah! A door. Great. Let's go through it. Bram Stoker's goose. <laughs> Revolver Rock, that one tickled me. Oh no, Jack Wood says Pothead is no longer Seagwood. They also said Digby Chicken Caesar. Yeah. Ginger, you be back my can. Pity that Robert Webb has said many turfy things, though. Welcome to the Soul Vault. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? You bet, buddy. Okay. Haste, greater base speed, faster dodges, and less cooldown time between dodges. I think that's what I want. Cut up my damage. Nah. Boom. Okay. I love the jaunty swings. <laughs> Just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Which one do we need? Ceramic. Ceramic manor, that's what we want, isn't it? The girl with the goose tattoo. Very nice. Anonymous. Ceramic manor! Hello, you're a locked door, ain't ya? This door requires a key to open. Uh, uh, uh. There's a plant pot here, we may as well. Oh, we don't have any seeds. You require a key to open. I suspect we need to go back out and do more work to get ahead here. So let's plant this. Cyborg Penguin has done a super chat saying, Hi, I just wanted to share this amazing fact. In Irish, goose is gay, pronounced gay, which means when you play Untitled Goose Game, you can be gay and do crime. <laughs> Very good. Oh, I should eat that fruit, shouldn't I? Arbalist says, I'm not surprised that this is a game made for Johnny. Oh, it's lovely. 
It's just a delight. Jack escaped the box again. Has done a super chat saying, oh yes, Johnny, we saw that. The gravity tax. Thank you very much. Cheerful Spider has done another super chat saying, you're all amazing. I'm laughing like an idiot at work from your goose titles. Also, quote, a goose by any other name would smell as sweet. Taya Cochran says, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Goose. <laughs> Stonewall says, A Fistful of Geese. <laughs> For a few geese more is my favourite. Uh, Arbalist says, Awesome shirt, Johnny. Thank you very much. Solely because I didn't want to wear a t-shirt because I had my shoulders tattooed. Um, but uh, after this many compliments, I might move it again. Move it again? Wear it again. Okay. Right. So, we went... Hello. Hello. Ow! Fucking... Grabby little pricks. Ow! Dick. Oh, you're on fire, though. Oh, because I shot through the flames. Cool. Yeah, I'm into these daggers. That's just a really lovely little combo. Steve Anderson's done a super chat saying, Goose. Thank you, Steve. Glad to see you well. <laughs> um... Methinks this game is quite fond of symmetry, which makes me think we should explore this way. Ooh! Pots. Pots for smashing. Is this a puzzle? Ah, oh, what is going on? The family tomb. This will be satisfying. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> How strange. Why? Why, why, why? I wish to smash all the pots. Stop. What? Ah. I'm being teased. Castaway DC has done a super chat saying, Love you, Johnny. That is all. Thank you very much, Castaway. That's really lovely. Uh, Albert Green has done a super chat to say, Take a gander at these geese puns. <laughs> oh, they just never end, do they? Oh, hello. Um, right. This is the thing I want. Let's find out how we get there. Tom Clancy's Goose Recon <laughs> says, uh, Meffy to go. Very, very good. I think I saw somebody just... Um, Oh, good. Yeah, some, somebody said don't tell puzzle answer unless uh, I ask in a French accent. Correct. Um, I, yeah, that seems like a puzzle. I wish to solve it, but I wish to solve it myself. So unless I ask you in a French accent for the solution. Hello, a gap in the hedge. I know about you now. Oh. But, oh, there's another gap in the hedge there. Okay. That's so exciting. Oh, but I can't get over there. Oof. All right. All I'm doing now is scanning for gaps in the edges. All right, you. What do you have to say for yourself? Pile of pots? Because, right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That one. Not put itself back together. Do I have to do the out inner circle and the outer circle? And then the... Fuck. There must be a contextual clue to tell me what, what's going on, right? You'd think. The family tomb. I know it's the family tomb. Okay. Is it to do with symmetry? Dickhead! Right, we'll do, we'll do the corners again. 
Fuck. <laughs> okay, well that that's done that now. All right. Middle? No. Unbearable says this is not a puzzle, but a return with a tool thing. Hmm. It just seems to reset after you've done five. Two, three, four. Emma's correct. Right. Cool, cool, cool. I'll stop smashing pots and, and tie myself up in knots then. Smash the pot, tie the knot. And what else can we do around here? I do want to smash into that, but clearly I need something else. I mean, there's lots of explodables here, so I assume we're going to get something that's going to let us. Let's just have another little shifty around here. I was kind of hoping there'd be something else around here that I could find that would help in the, in the mansion, but seemingly not. I guess we'll just have another look. Yeah, all right. Well, let's try the mansion and just see what happens. Oh, look at all the portraits on the wall. They've all got... They've all got cookware on their heads. Yeah, let's just go back to the gap in the hedge. All right. Hedges, please. All right, everyone. That is help. That is helpful, but... You remember what we remember what we talked about with the back seating. I cannot get through here. What is this bullshit? <laughs> oh, there's <laughs> another gap there. Oh, Johnny, you absolute tool. Secrets? Secrets. Why? Ooh. I will pray at the shrine. Thank you. What is this? Ancient Shrine offers you a shard from a magic crystal. Collecting four will raise your magic capacity beyond its limits. Oh, I found one of these before, and I missed it this time round. That's annoying. Oh well. Clever game. Clever. Clever game. Thunder Cookie says, well, owl be damned. Got Springman just says, uh, Goose Light. Mattress 757 says, Hoot Hoot! Alright. Okay. Is there anywhere in the ceramic manor that we missed? Can't go up there. Can't set those on fire yet. And which is Mansion? Ooh! Oh! Oh, Minus. Ooh, okay, and there's a lock on it. Cheerful Spider says, as I see the chat saying, my partner broke me with Octagoosey. <laughs> ah, what are you? Fuck off. Jeez. What is this Beauty and the Beast bullshit? You can be my guest to fuck off. <laughs> is that another one? Is that another one of them? Ah! Aha! Ah! Jeez! I'm gonna break your pot. Now you've got nowhere to live. Oh, sh- Ha! <laughs> uh. See my vest, see my vest, made from real gorilla chest. Doot. Seed, guess it. Arrow. 420, blaze it. Doc Eyebrow says, such terrible potty mouth. Very good. Ah, wait. Can we shoot 
through this to the... Yes, we can. Tremendous. Whoa. Game? Oh, no. You not crash. You just tab out. Whew. Scared me for a second. Um, I actually genuinely surprised the Dicebreaker team uh, one time just before we were about to record by launching into See My Vest because I know every single word to it. And they were like, oh. Uh, Amaya a Kane says, uh, this is a super chat. Thanks for the incredible streams. I don't know if someone made this pun yet, but carry on my wayward human. I'm going back to watch from the beginning. Have fun and carpe repum. Carry on my wayward was not made yet, and I bloody love it. Thank you so much for the super chat and for the lovely words and for the support. Um, when you get back to this point, um, accept my thanks again, because you are great. Thank you. Um, I genuinely love that I get to do this as a job um, and yeah it, it means a lot that it actually resonates with people Justin Hughes has done a super chat saying just watched a full playthrough of this game looks so good pothead reminds me of onion night lol there is a secret ending if you want to go for the 100% intriguing aha open up door Try some great stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. Ah, yes. Right. Here's the thing. Cobwebs. In films and video games, always um, illustrated as being very, very flammable. Is that a, Is this a true thing? Is this a true thing? Um... <laughs> Revolver Rock says, not as much of a surprise as Umbongo. Yeah, I, I do also know all the words to the old Umbongo advert. I think, way down deep in the middle of the Congo, a hippo took an, took an apricot, a guava, and a mango. He threw them all together and he did a dainty tango. The, no, um... Man, hippo took an apricot, a guava, and a mango. He threw them all together and he did a dainty tango. The rhino said, I know, we'll call it Umbongo. Then, of course, you've got the refrain of Umbongo, Umbongo. They drink it in the Congo. Uh, the passion picked the pas the python picked the passion fruit. The marmoset the mandarin. The parrot painted packets that the whole caboodle landed in. So if you want some sun and fun and goodness in the jungle, they all prefer the sunny, funny one they call umbongo. There you go. A childhood well spent. I think you can all agree. Stonewall says uh, depends what's stuck to the web. Arbalest says could look into the flammability of such polymers. Apparently they shrivel up rather than burn, says Puzzled Phantom. According to the Metro series, yes. There are so many portraits of people with urns for head, I have concerns about this family. Yes, indeed. Here's a slightly troubling, isn't it, Emma? From downtown. Oh, I should consume this. What am I thinking? Heal up. Bit of a bit of a bad shot, but it gave it to me anyway. Thank you. This game's great, and I love it. I should say we've got past the point now that I got to. Uh oh, it looks like yes. Ah, f <laughs> well, aren't you a customer? An interesting fellow. Wait a minute. <gasps> the daggers. When you swipe, it looks like you swipe with both. So, you can refill faster. Whoop! Hello! Hello! Ah! Oh, you can break that guard! <laughs> you bloody horrible little thing! Waff! <laughs> wow, that's disgusting. Whoop! Yeah, the daggers bring you back two arrows at once. That is extremely handy. Take that. That was satisfying. 
Nem, 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 nem. Yeah. <laughs> Tris Sharp says, that looks like the egg carton man I made as a child. Here to take revenge. Tris, oh gosh. I hope you're okay. That's some childhood you're talking about there, buddy. I'm sure you had a lovely childhood. I'm, I'm only, only taking the pe- <gasps> Oh, am I about to get very emotional? <sighs> it appears we've been abandoned here. I don't think anyone is coming to open the door. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm absolutely fine. Ouch. <laughs> Angel V. I'm still a super chat saying, It's Free Soul Estate. <laughs> oh, wrong, wrong thing I clicked on there, but yeah, it's Free Soul Estate. Thank you for the super chat, Angel V. The nice witch says, Oh no, not feelings, please. I know. But we are on our way to confront a witch. So that's... Oh, my God. Holy shit. I think we found her. Is she a nice witch? The nice witch is a nice witch. Hello, dear. Quite unexpected to see a crow around this place. Does this mean the deal is off? Brings an adorable fellow like you into my little house. Hi. I'm here to reap your soul. Oh, oh she scared me. Scary, scary witch. Castaway DC has done a super chat saying, sends comforting hug. Thank you, Castaway. Nice witch says, she seems lovely. Yeah, I sh maybe I shouldn't have hit her. I am trying to harvest her soul, though. So... Unlock? Yay! Eh. You... Oh! Ow. Yes, alright then. Lesson learned. I love the noises that makes. <sighs> Grim Fandangoose. Very good, cheerful spider. Right, two more vases to smash. There's one there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Guess it, guess it, guess it. Guess it! Yeah, guess it. Fuck off! Fuck off! You weird bomb... bomb loving. Scream producing sod. You can get fucked as well. Not here for your shit today, creatures of the weird mansion. Oh. Yep. Saxy Stars says this would be such a good Switch game. I know. I kind of... I hope we get that port. I do feel a bit bad that so often a game will come out and I'll be like, well, I want to play that on Switch. Is that available on the Switch app? And it's like, often the answer's no, and I should just suck it up and play it at my desk. And I'm really glad I did with this. Goose of Tsushima. Very well done, Final Girl 93. Ah, fuck. Yeah, how do you like me now? Right, that door's open. Let's go through it. I love this game. I just love this game. The Nice Witch says, All games on Switch, please, so I can play them in bed. Oh my god, yes. I got a little clampy thing to hold a Switch um, for, like, you know, like hands-free gaming, and it's at, your, it's at your head. I clamped it to the headboard so I could lie down with my arms by my sides with the Joy-Cons in my hand and just play Zelda in bed. Or Animal... It was Animal Crossing during the first lockdown, I was like, I want to be upright. 
I play Animal Crossing in bed. Ugh. It was so good. I still have it. Maybe I should set that up again. I can happily see myself playing through this game several times. There are very few games that I actually will go back and replay, but when I do, it's it's f sort of comforting. Like, I've, I replayed Donut County a lot, actually. Um, and I just find it so relaxing. And I think this is absolutely one of those games. I knew that was explosive, and I swung my sword at it anyway. What is wrong? Oh, you're at the wrong height. <laughs> I was like, what is wrong with you? Can we make can we make a long shot from there? Yes, we can. Okay. We want to get back up there, so we want to go back to that ladder. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Jibble Sandwich says, is this available on console? I believe it's available on Xbox. Possibly PlayStation? I don't know. Somebody could look that up. I would be very much indebted to you, actually. Plop. I'm a little bird. Give me a soul. Do 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 do. Diddly doodly do. Diddly do diddly diddly do. Ah, oh, nice. Plant that seed. Eat that fruit. Xbox exclusive. There we go. Thank you. Xbox and PC for now. Okay, what horrible monster? Oh, it's just another one the same. All right. Oh, shit. No, it's not. Hubris, Johnny. Hello, sir. Excuse me, sir. Wap, wap. Excuse me, sir. Sir, hello. I'm talking to you, sir. Oh, I really hoped he was going to chomp those lads then. Ow. <gasps> cool. It's like a little dash attack. Just seen there's another lost soul up there, so gird yourselves through emotions, folks. Oh, fuck. Come on. Aww. That was adorable, that little spin. So free. Oh, come off it. Come on. Shit, 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 biscuits. What an absolutely bloody lovely game. With quite horrible monsters in it. Get binned. Piss off. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Please, Father, not the shit biscuits. I don't make the rules, nice witch. Dang it. Which way did we go before? <laughs> Is it that way? Why memory's so bad? Nah. <laughs> uh, Waterstar86 has done a super sticker, which is a ghostly version of the hippo just kind of floating up and down between the words game and over. Looks like a haunted, haunted little, haunted, haunted hippo. Haunt, hip, hip haunt, haunt po. 
Yes, I am going the right way. Good, good, good. Bring it on, then. You lascivious dickhead. Oh, shit. No, oh, that's a bad start, isn't it? Oh no, Jibble Sandwich says my three-year-old just said shit biscuits. You are now on subtitles, Johnny Lol. Sorry. Whoopsie. Ah, oh. not feeling this run. I mean, what I should have what I should have been doing is dealing with the mobs all along, rather than trying to take both on at once. Crap. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I let I let you down. I let the crow down. That's it. I, yeah, that's. Did I let myself down a little? Maybe. Wait a minute. I want to go up the stairs, through here. <laughs> I love it when they do that. It's very funny. And then, ah, oh shit! Is this the right way? Most importantly, you let the let the lemon down. Who cares about the lemon? Oh wait, it's this way. Oh god, sod off. Sod off the lot of you. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Oh, SG Dave says that last run was a was av aviary bad time. Incredible. Cyrexal says bye for now. Take care. Aviary bad time. Absolutely love it. Hello, small plant children. Follow me not into this room. This is bad for you. Hello. Right. Mobs, 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 mobs. Mobs, 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 mobs. Smash in face. Place on plate. <laughs> Turn and place on plate. Gutty. Uh, Cheerful Spider's done another super chat that says, Heavy is the head that wears the goose. It's all getting a bit... It's like a weird spin on the rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, isn't it? Oh, shit! Let me in! Okay, that could have been worse. Felt that one coming. Just don't get greedy. There you go. There you go, look. You know the little grabby ones have to get in grab range to actually grab you. And you know you can take them. And this chucklehead is going to bite you. No, he's not, because you're fine. Here we go, look. It's almost like you don't have to put yourself in harm's way. See? See? We just chill out, don't we? We have a nice time here. Silly pop man. Fuck! Shouldn't have tried to patronise him. Shouldn't have tried to patronise him. Alright. 
We're getting there. That felt okay. Gonna have one more run at that. Then we're gonna have a little break. <sighs> Thank you for the Fs in chat. Basil the Great Goose Detective, says Jan Christopherson. I'm amazed this is still going, P.S. So much crockery and blood on the floor, it's like there's been a massacre at the Asda Homeware Department. <laughs> it's amazing how that first one didn't really phase me, but the minute you add in just a couple of mobs, it becomes a much, much harder fight. All right, here we go. Oh, getting sweaty. Ooh. All right. We're just going to go back to the old classic, the old two two hit max before dodging. There we go. Look, look, right, they're both dead. Two hits and we dodge. Two hits and we dodge. Woo. We can afford to throw arrows because the daggers do great work in getting stuff back for us. Let's break them down again. Get a couple of hits in while they're just approaching. What you have to do is not respect them enough to even let them attack you. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. I'm this guy. Blair, Blair, Blair. Oh, shit. Take that. Oh, we traded at the end there. There we go. Hmm. Here we go. Right. It's going to release one more lost soul. Poor sod. And then uh, we'll have a little break. I was quite pleased with that. She said I would live forever, but with a pot for a head? No thanks. <laughs> Radical Islam Rabbi says, first try. <laughs> Cheerful Spider is on another super chat saying, the goose in the darkness. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Well, it's, um, it's coming up on five minutes to six here in, in uh, shit racist plague island. Sorry, the United Kingdom. Um, so we're going to take a quick break, sort of five to seven minutes. So I'm going to grab something to drink because I need some water and I might get myself a beer. Num, 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 num. Going to go to the toilets, maybe have a little stretch. Um, and yeah, whatever you need to do over the next sort of five to ten, five, seven minutes, um, you do it. Do you need to stretch? Are you well hydrated? Uh, do you need snacks? Are you hot? Are you cold? You know, you know, like <laughs> yeah, the nice switch says, well, now we're all sad. It's time, good time for a break. You know how to spend five to seven minutes oops, of free time. So go spend it and I will see you back here. Um, yeah, I'll see you then. So, um... Go, go, go. Bye.
Hi, welcome back everybody. Um, let's play some more Death's Door. Um, if you joined during the break, this is Death's Door. It's a bloody great game about being a little crow. Who, I mean, I admit this looks bad. It looks like I killed a whole bunch of people, and I did, but it was for a good cause. Um, I'm a crow who collects souls, um, but I was assigned a particular soul to collect. Um, it was stolen from me, and now it's locked behind a door. And in order to get there and get that soul back, I have to kill a lot more people for their souls. Um, and in the meantime, the chat has gone absolutely wild with goose puns. Oh, heavens. My house is a mess. My beautiful lands. Shattered. Um, I mean, I must apologize for the state of the house, dearie. I wasn't expecting guests. Surprise attack! Surprise attack! Shit! <gasps> oh. She's scary. Scary. Scary, not nice. Not nice, big scary. Scary, scary witch. Spooky, scary, not nice. Where's the exit? Where's the vet? Oh, it's there. <laughs> Alrighty. The ghost of Laura Palmer says, Pass Ag Granny. Yeah, pretty much. That was fairly, um, fairly riotous, wasn't it? Ah, oh, fuck, not you again. Piss off! Go away! Stop launching souls at me. Right, let's go back to the main hall. And try and unlock a different door, shall we? Let's do these. All right. In order to get through here, we need to kill five of whatever's here. But first, we're going to get that seed. And we're going to rake havoc. I like that plant. Oh, man. Oh. Steady on. Sorry. Itchy. Tis the heat. All right, you're going to be one, aren't you? Oh, no, you're not. Yeah, you are. Fag off. Ah, oh, crap, they're all at it now. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's loads of you. Fag off. Shit. Well, that didn't work at all. Fuck. You're bloody horrible, so you are. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. This should be fine. Whoopsie. Ta -da. Another key. Yes, a seed. It's the first time one of those boxes has actually given up a treat. And it is gratefully received. You silly sod. Smash, smash, smash. Oh, no. We've entered the urn witch's bedroom. This can't be wise, although it does look comfortable.
Um, Sean O'Connor says, did Johnny just strip the last enemy before killing it? Yes. Not intentionally, but certainly what happened. Womp. All right. Let's get off that bed. I cannot believe you're all still going with the goose puns. Unbelievable. Right, let's sort out this wire again. Okay. Okay, the man from Goose is quite funny. I'll give you that one, Steve Anderson. Oh, you grabby sods. Go away! Go away! Fuck off! Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying, finish what should have been an hour long call in 10 minutes. Hashtag, oh yes. How's the twerk? How's this twerkaliciousness going? Didn't realize it was twerkalicious. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, yes, please. I could do with some soul fruit. Num, num, num. Uh-oh. Ah, another one, eh? All right. Ah, oh, shit. These dickheads. Actually, they're less of a worry. If all they do is launch, project... Ow, oh, shit. No, famous last. Right, we just stick and move. We stick and move. It's what we do. It's what we've always done. It's who we are. It's what we be. Yeah, if it's going to keep launching those things at me, I'm not entirely asked. Like, sure, they fire projectiles, but you can predict them well enough. Uh oh, <laughs> famous last words. Okay, maybe they are a bit of a pain. Yeah, sod it. It's going to focus the boss. Oh, the boss hit me in the face. Yes! Eat it! And you can get some as well. Good, good, good. Bastards. Alright. Time to have another sad conversation and another, another terrifying conversation with the witch. I'm starting to question the authority of our Lord of Doors. Although it might be a bit late given that I am deceased. Be free, buddy. And by free, I mean get in the door! Good. Soul fruit? Shit. Well, if I die, I don't... Oh, no. Oh, goodness. You're not the cause of all this ruckus. Ah, uh, you. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I would not be very hospitable to any beast who would mistreat my children. Tread lightly, Reaper. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> Turns out you can animation lock the witch. <laughs> oh, dear. Not spooked then. Boop. This really wasn't the way to go, but it's the path we've taken. 
Will has just uh, said, fun fact, Stephen Yaxley Lennon has just been made to pay a hundred grand in damages to a Syrian teenager. And just let me say, lol. Well, that's made my day. Delicious. Num, 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 num. What lovely, lovely news. Thank you, Will. Okay, we're back here. Let's get some sulfur. Oh, oh. Pothead. Pothead's having a nap. How goes How goes the exploration, my friend? This mansion is dark and full of strange creatures. Please stay vigilant. I haven't made a new companion in great many years, so I do hope we survive our first adventure together. Me too, Pothead. Okay. Where's the where's the locked is there another locked door down is there one down here that we've missed? No. Joshua Palmer asks, who is Stephen Yaxley Lennon? He is a noted British racist. And is a dickhead. <gasps> Secrets. Secrets. I want them. Oh, fuck off. Who are you? Come on, then. Some of that. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. And then if I smash that, I can go that way. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Right. Where is next locked door? Or where is next freeable soul? Will says, notable British racist. That takes some effort to be British and noted for your racism. I know, but my gosh, he makes it work. He's, yeah, he's just gone back, basically. Where is the next locked door? I am asking in a French accent. So if anybody knows, they may tell me. Listen, mate. I know I've only done three out of four, but can you just open up anyway? Living Reaper. I hunger for souls. Go back to that hallway atop the ladder, says Emma Benton. Which one's that? This way? This is it this way? Hallway. Go to hallway after trapdoor and go to left side. Left side? Is it this way? Hello, my sense of direction is god awful. Not this way. Oh, the hallway to the left. Okay. Left room. Left room? Oh, yeah, we went left room, didn't we? Okay, and then I guess we go this way. Yeah, yeah, okay, and back to the hallway at the top of the ladder, okay. All right. Is it? Is it? Hallway! And... Ooh, big. Hmm, <laughs> suspicious. Oh! Ah, fuck! 
Shall we dance, says a large talking pot. You horrible bastard! Please be destroyed by me and my weapons. Also, I'm going to go get this seed. You stay down there. Oopsie. Would you stop with the that attack, please? You like a bloody DVD menu. Great, right, come here. Fuck. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, I can see its weird little bum. You're freaky. You weird little pot dance man. Fuck off. Ow. <sighs> Wasn't sure about that. Nice witch says no pot shaming here, please. I'm sorry, the nice witch. You're right. Okay, yeah, I'd like, I'd like, oh shit, but I wanted the, wanted the massive souls, please. Okay, everyone, maybe, 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 look, you're having fun and that's important, but I'm going to say the goose puns are getting quite bad now. <laughs> They're just quite tortured. Oh, f shit off. Oh, no, I wanted to... Okay... Oh, look! Ah. What are you? Pick up. Yes, please. You found an old engagement ring. Now you just need to find someone who would want to marry you. Oh. <laughs> Plant. Yes. Eat. Yes. What are you? That's horrible. Whatever that is. Not a big fan of that. Not really. Hmm. Might just leave that for future Johnny to work out. The shy by guy says, I'll marry you, little crow man. I'm pleased to say, actually, the crow is, is uh, uses they, them pronouns. So, we can assume is, is um, non-binary. Ah! Creatures in the dark. Whoa, what? Hang on a minute. Oh. For a second there, I thought you could just hold down B to uh, rapid fire. That was satisfying. Fuck off. Hey. That bat's a surprisingly adept combatant. God, the witch is going to be furious with me when she realises that, yes, I am the cause of all of the problems in her house. Whoa, shit! Shh. <laughs> 
man, 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 man. Whee. Oh. oh, yeah. But of course. I think in actuality, what we want is this. Oh, but that's also handy. Yeah, we'll take that. I mean, fairly sure we have to burn away this gossamer, but I'm also going to go investigate that. Secrets. A pom pom says perfect stream to watch while I make strawberry jam. Would you say it's. Would you say it's your your jam? Ah! You sneaky little last minute bastard. Sorry, I'm swearing a lot today, but eh. Plant seed. Uh oh. Oh, hey. Nothing to fight? Odd. Why did the door close? How can we get back? Oh. <laughs> Boom! Get in the door! Well says, I like that jam pun. I will preserve it. Well now, little crow, you have well and truly outstayed your welcome. First you leave my daft grandson astray, filling that head of his with nonsense ideas about curses, and then you come in here and smash up all my beautiful urns. I'm just trying to help people. If you set foot in my basement, there will be consequences. I might even have words with your employer. Although I'd rather not see that old weirdo again. I mean, a lock for a head? So strange. Hmm. Off with you, little crow! <laughs> well, that was eventful. Oh, that was handy. Very well designed. I love this game. It's great. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go in just yet. All of the voids are aglow with an earthly light. Is it unlocked? If only I had a more complete understanding of doors. Oh, sorry. Before you proceed, big face, I have a confession to make. The old witch of this house is my grandmother. Hmm. She cursed me with a ceramic cranium in a misguided effort to make me immortal. Oh. Oh no, the nice witch says it breaks my heart every time you hit her. I'm sorry. It's not a com it's not a comment on you. As your username says you are the nice witch. Um you see she was stricken with grief from my grandfather past and made it her mission to keep our whole family alive forever. Her research led her to believe that replacing one head one's head with an urn would somehow strike you from death's ledgers. However, I resisted, and during the struggle, her spell must have gone awry, for, as you see, I have a pot for a head. <laughs> I fear she has gone too far beyond her years, and her soul was swollen and grown corrupted. I've seen it happen in this land many times. As a reaper, I implore you to end her suffering and bring her soul into the next life. Perhaps she can find peace once again. Sure, I'll kill your grandmother. It's a normal thing to request. But first, we're just going to have a little level up. Hall of Doors. Hall of Doors. Hello, you. Oh, ho, 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 you beautiful, careless sunflower. Looks like you've made quite a mess of things for that last assignment. Don't worry, I'll sort the paperwork out for you. Hee hee. Thanks, Agatha the Typist. This is going to require supplementary forms. My lucky day. Well, I'm glad someone's enjoying their work. 
Welcome to the Soul Vault. Yes. Okay. Now, I can up my strength, which is damage. My dex, that's even faster. And then I can dodge fast. I just want to keep pumping these two up, to be honest. Faster dodges, greater base speed. Or faster attacks. I think, you know, do that. Faster base speed, faster dodges. Lovely. All right, back to the ceramic manor. Linorn says, has Johnny noticed a spelling mistake in this area? Let's have a look. Hall of Doors, Reaping Comis Comision Headquarters. Well spotted, Linorn. I hadn't seen that. All right. Once again, I await here in Stangard. May the doors of death be on your side, beak face. Be wary, living reaper. Ooh, that was weird. All right. We go down? No. We must go up. Mimic! You nasty bastard. Avarice. Right, absolutely. Fuck that. Really quite glad I upped my dodge speed, really. Shit. Oh, no, wait. I'm okay. Who's next? Yes! Ah, bomb bastards. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm getting flashbacks to the Lion King on the Super Nintendo. The stampede level. Horrible it was. Right, you come back here, you magic prick. Right, and you... Fuck off. Yes! Halfway there. If my understanding of counting is to be uh, relied upon. Shit! Shit bastard. Oh, with these pricks, really? With how many of these pricks? Please don't keep spawning them in. Oh, shit. Okay, please just let me... Yes, okay, great. We can deal with that. Boo. Blah.
Suck it! Well, that was fun. What the? Hello? A gift to a fellow crow to aid you on your quest. You gonna suck it up? Wow. Nope. Okay. I can have a hat. <gasps> magic hat, magic hat, magic hat. Flame spell acquired. Ooh. Well, yes, I've seen lots of things that I can set aflame. Oh, that's bloody lovely. I happen to know a door I can open with this. Well, and this. Wah. Absolutely bloody fantastic. What a game. Uh, <laughs> but how do how get back? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's very clever. Oh my god! So, is it helping me level up before a boss fight? Also, where's more things I can smash for fire spell? Oh, I shouldn't have showed off my new lovely spell by throwing loads of fireballs. Hello, I need things to smashing. Ooh, read. <laughs> this appears to be a Reaper's abandoned logbook. We've been ordered to disconnect a series of open doors in the region around the recent anomalous energy surge. This area had previously been quite active with commission members assisting the witch with her research. The order came through and was executed immediately, so I'm not sure what's happened to the crows that were there. Well... All doors have been sealed for now, and outstanding work orders in the region have been manually closed. Quite strange, but it is above my pay grade. I find it's better to not ask questions. Well. I mean, it's part of the premise to Michael Bay film The Rock. Starring Ed Harris and Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. They abandoned them, left them to die. Horrible. Perhaps this crow business with the doors and such isn't as nice as we thought. Or as the ghost of Laura Palmer put it, your organization is, a, is corrupt and you are a tool of the man. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Ah, I see you've been exploring the old office departments, says Vaga. I used to work over in the east section before I embraced my true life and quit the rat race. I'm much happier now, but there was one lovely, cosy office. Well, I just opened the door if you want to go squat in it. Treat yourself. Hello. Seems like you're finding a wealth of souls out there. Where are they coming from? I haven't seen so much soul energy in decades, maybe centuries. I've been killing a lot. A lot of, lot of people. R a really surprising number, actually. Can we afford anything? Don't think we can. No, no treats for us today. Is there anything down here I can open up with lovely fire spell? Hello? Oh, it's Paul Platt. Hello, giant statue of the guy with the lock on his face. Oh, we're right back at the beginning. All right, well, let's... Let's go have a big old fight. Just going to explore this way a little bit. Uh, no. Okay. Curiosity satisfied. Let's push on. What is that thing down there? Inviting. I'll find it later. 
Salamic Manor. All right, smash some urns. And then... <laughs> wow! This spell's great. Okie dokie, everyone. With all apologies to the nice witch, it's time to go fight a witch. Here we go. Oh. Wait a minute, isn't that Pothead's spoon? I swear if she's done... If she's done something to Pothead, I'm going to be livid. Uh-oh, I'm going in your basement. Hope there aren't consequences. Furnace observation rooms beneath ceramic manor. What this? I love it. I absolutely love it. Incredible. Can't believe no one suggested that the the uh, the witch might be an old crone. But to be fair, you, you collectively just lost the plot and started talking about geese for about 300 years. So I guess that explains a thing or two. I love this game. I love this game. This is my game of the year so far, hands down. Easy. No, even a question. Burp. That was a strange detour, but all right. Oh my god, I love that so much. The audio, the sense of momentum sort of petering out. How do I get up there? I want to get up there. Is this just going to take us? Yes, it is. Oh no! I did too much bull. Shit! What did you do that for? Oh, for God's sake! Help! I'm endangering myself. Ah, wait a minute. Eh? Yep, yep. Now stop. Now stop there. Fuck! Oh, that one first, eh? Fuck! Well, now you're out of stuff. Dingus crow. Oh, now you're fine again. So good. Wait. Oh, does mana just recharge? Oh, it's when I hit the bull. Of course. Wasn't paying attention there, was I? Hello, soul energy. Oh, ah. What? No! No! Pothead? Well, this won't stand. I'll get you out, buddy. I knew that soup spoon wouldn't have been dropped idly. Not idly to the soup spoon to pothead fall. No! Ah, oh, right. Grand grandmother has lost her way. We gotta face it. You just don't. You don't imprison your grandchildren in a vat. You know. Oh, for fuck! <laughs> oh, 
Good lord. Whoopsie. Back into the basement we go, I get. No, 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 no! Ah, oh, shit. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, cool, it, like, auto-locks. And the mag-locks on, that's brilliant. What's down here? Boop. Troubling. Some world of goo nonsense. No, we're not doing swan puns. Um, no. We st just stop with the bird puns now, please. Makes chat impossible to read. Feels like a completely different route. Aha! Aha! Oh, cool. Yes. Five more souls, and I can level up again. go. We're going to do it right this time. Let's try this way. <sighs> Terrified of falling off now. you crow yeah but you took my friend admittedly your grandson and you put him in a vat come on it's admirable and stupid actually grandma yet still you persevere i'm not sure if that's admirable or stupid no it's definitely it's admirable and stupid come on Ugh. Uh, Emiata has done a super chat saying Johnny constantly gets close to the edge, to the edges. Johnny, no, Johnny constantly gets close to the edges. Me, oh, there must be an invisible, there must be invisible edges. Johnny falls to their death. Me, oh, never mind. Yeah, that's, I'm not the best with gravity. All right. Come on, Grandma, just... Ah! Rude. I'm going to set something on fire about it. This is a serious basement. Ooh. In a furnace. <laughs> I'll say I am. Got myself with that one. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can. Um, I think we can level up again. 
in a furnace. I'll say we were. Hello. Yes, I would like to increase strength or magic. I think strength. <laughs> Love that little jaunty dagger walk. Oops, sorry. In a furnace. Here we go. Clay Trimble has done a super chat saying, Hello, Johnny. Just woke up from getting home from my first graveyard shift. Was delighted to see your stream. Hope you're doing well and keeping yourself in good health. I am. Thank you, Clay Trimble. Um, I hope your first graveyard shift went went as smoothly as can be expected. Um, and that you had a good sleep. I had a tremendous nap today. What are you? Ah, uh, you look like that Pokemon that's made of mud. Whatever it's called. And you are resistant to fire? Ooh. Okay. Ah, Muck and Grimer. Thank you, Nathaniel Levy and other people from chat who answered that question for me. Go on, lock in, lock it. Oh. You again. Be a flame, please. Thank you. Right. Oh, wow. That's some form of horrible plague doctor with a mortar? A poison mortar. Really? Where's the thing? Oh, there's the thing I have to set on fire. Fuck off. Okay. No. Fuck. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, seriously? Ha <laughs> ha Oh, okay. We like this, though. Ow! The bloody indignity of this. Am I going to fall down that shaft? It's probable! Ow! Ha <laughs> ha Plant seed. Ah! Run away from seed. Eat fruit. Run away from fruit. Come here! Come here, you at Ah, shit. Well, of course you can do that. This game is so good. <laughs> Look at you ragdolling away. You nasty piece of work, you. Honestly. Okay, okay. Whoa! Of course, flame balls will go through enemies, unlike the arrows. Ow! <laughs> Give me one sec. My wife just messaged me, and I want to reply.
Okay, done. Thank you. Eat fruit. I hate these guys so much. They're horrible. We're getting there. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we can't get up there just yet. All right, that's fine. Should have just moved. This is surprisingly... I mean, like... <laughs> from the start of this game, like, it had lots of nice little sort of neat design puzzles. I didn't expect it to get this sort of multifaceted. Oh, Bubby. It's like, there's some real ambition to this level design. You have to respect it. It's lovely. Wait! Ah! No. Hi, everyone. Please stop that. No, no, no. I'm fine, thank you. I'm... I'm I'm good actually for being stabbed with um with rebar or whatever that is you've got going on inside you. Thank you so much. I really I appreciate it though. Ah Okay, fuck off. Flame flame balls though, right? Friendship ended with bow and arrow, etc etc. Yes. Well, but now the bloody... You could just call it. You can just call it. Lovely. This game's great. Well, this won't go horribly wrong, will it? Oh, fuck off. Little bastards. Ah, big one. Ah, shit. Plunger. Oh, God. Plague Doctor. Ah! <laughs> I mean, it is effective. You have to give it that. Shit! Ah, Cyrexile has uh, done Super Chat saying, Sorry for small money, but just want to commend you. Uh, don't apologize at all. Eh? Like, that is already very generous. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate the Super Chat and just for the general support. Okay. Ugh. Goodbye. <laughs> Fire!
Oh no, my nose itches. That's what we wanted. Ah, please go away, Plague Doctor. Oh, you're shitting me. Run, run, run! Oh yeah, you don't have to kill everything. Just the Plague Doctor! Fuck! I saw that coming and I didn't move. Um. Oh, Emma Venton has done a super chat to say, From the bottom of my heart, thank you for the stream this morning. Everything is on fire at work, and the activism Blizzard news really made me sad, but this has cheered me up so much. You're very welcome, Emma. Um, I'm sorry that things have been so hard just at work, but also with the Activision Blizzard news, which is just so horribly disheartening um, that I'm glad I could help um, in whatever way possible. Um, by the way, uh, you know, we won't delve into the whole details of the Activision Blizzard thing because it is just, it's really grim and horrible and frankly, like, the the court documents require all the trigger warnings in the world, but I uh, just want it to be known that I am uh, not going to be covering or streaming any Activision Blizzard games um, for the foreseeable, like, and basically until such a time as I feel like they've sorted their shit out as a company, which... Could be a long wait. Oh my god! Um, it could be could be a long wait. Like in the same vein that I don't, I'm not streaming or covering Ubisoft games. Um, it just it doesn't feel right. I don't want to do it. And thanks to the fact that I work for myself, I have the luxury of just being able to make that call and not run it past anybody. So uh, yeah, that's the news. Uh, oh my god! I'm just getting sloppy now, aren't I? Oh shit! No! Bastards. The ghost of Laura Palmer says, I must go for an hour, so I'm sorry to miss the end of the urn, which I will watch it back later. Take care of the ghost of Laura Palmer. Um, have a good one. I will catch you on VOD. Hi. And indeed, so long. Same goes for you. Fuck! Could have done without that, actually. Wait a minute. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Oh, shit! Ho <laughs> eh, ho I'm a plague doctor. I've got a big gun. You've got a big mouth of stupid gun. Good one, Johnny. That was really excellent, actually. You projectile wankers. Look at you. Oh, we're the ranged combat club. We used to be the AV club, but then they took away our ham radios. That's what they're like. How do you like me now? I just killed your treasurer. Oh no, the club vice president's dead. Take that. Dickhead sock. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I don't know where any of that came up, came from. <laughs> Hello. Wah, wah, wah. Good. Cool, cool, cool. Plant seed. Eat the fruit. Hit the bull thing. This is my favorite moving sl ah, sled I've ever seen in a video. You are dickheads. I'm sorry. How come Granny gets so shirty when I, a little crow, go down into the basement? When the basement is populated by these absolute chuds. Like, 
Who would object to little, little tiny crow minding own business? Well, really not minding my own business, but still. Shit, that was close. Smash. Smash. I'm getting more and more afraid of dying because I, uh, I worry about finding my way back here. This place is disorientating. Oh, wow, I fell down. I did not notice that. But then so did they. Oh, no, no, why are you like this? Hey, gods. I'm my own worst enemy, I really am. <laughs> Where are we now? Okay. We're here. I guess conveyor belt time? Yes. Oh, another plague doctor, is it? Hi, I'm the club president for uh, Mortar Sock. Yeah, we split from ranged combat sock when, um, fuck. Bastards. It was annoying. Do I have to really do all this whole run again? Ow. Here comes the sweating lord. Have some of that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I respect none of you. None of you. Not you, chat. I'm talking about the, the enemies. Oh, shit. Oh, really? I got hit by that guy? Ugh. Ow! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. At least I haven't fallen off yet. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? I don't know. Touch wood. We can get through this bit. The nice switch says, the great pottery throwdown really changed. Yep. Who presents that? I keep thinking it's Joe Lyser, but that's the sewing bee, isn't it? Keep up, mortar dickhead. Come here. Oh, whoops. Wouldn't help if I could aim. We can help with you name as well. Mortar Dicky, he hit me. Okay, now. Uh, I really 
actually want the mortar dickhead to be out in front, but... No! Shit! Fuck! <sighs> that was annoying. Okay. All right, we go again. Hello, and also goodbye. Oh, come on. Feels kind of mean to be just dodging all of this bit, but also, like, it's a long old run, and if I try and take out every enemy, it'll take forever, so... But that's the kind of, I think that's the sort of roguelike, like Dead Cells completionist in me that wants to take out every enemy along the way. When sometimes you just don't have to. I cannot believe I got hit by a bloody archer again, and then I fell off because I wasn't... So I was scratching my stupid nose. Ugh. Pottery Throwdown. Siobhan McSweeney from Derry Girls presented the most recent series, and the lovely judge cried a lot. Oh, I saw that. I saw the lovely judge crying. I, I, those shows are great, to be honest with you. Like, I... I don't watch them religiously. Uh, I used to watch Bake Off constantly, which is actually kind of how the Nice Witch and I got to know one another uh, from just DMing about <laughs> um, Bake Off contestants. But um, yeah, like I haven't, I didn't watch the last season because I can't stand Matt Lucas, um, and I, I don't think pottery and sewing really interest me enough to want to to watch it every week. But my wife will watch them, and you know, sometimes we'll be in bed, she'll be watching it on the iPad, and I'll be reading, and I'll just be like, okay, and I will just end up watching, like, half an episode, or sometimes just a full episode, rather than doing whatever it was I planned to do with my evening. All right, we got one hit point left. Maybe I should have doubled back. Doubled back. This is bad. Wait a minute. What's this way? What is this? Yeah, I'll set that on fire. Sure, why not? <gasps> Shortcut. Shortcut. Fucking yes. Right. Right. Now, this seems counterintuitive, but we're going to run the loop again until we get to... Ah! <laughs> oh, Bake Off's gone right downhill, but I still watch it every year like it's my punishment, says a nice witch. Will says, stop, breathe, five minute water break. Recenter yourself, you're getting tilted. This is true. Just gonna have a little sip. A little sip, a little sip. I know, I, I know that the area was just a little loop, and that I just had to go back up there. But I wanted to get to the the health plant and try and heal up. But dying actually seemed like a quicker way. To get full health back. Right, we're chill now. We're chill. We've had a little breather. All systems are go. The pistons are pumping their things. I can plant a seed here. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, but I just need to traverse this bit. You I will fight. 
Oh no! They can use the platforms! Ow. Well, that's very clever. Come here, you. Oh, you love to see it. That was lovely fun. <laughs> this uh, I am so intrigued by this grandma. Like who has a basement this big? Kevin McAllister would uh, would just die of fright immediately. Are you kidding? Gosh, there are a lot of you. Wow. There it is. There's the next furnace. That was a lot. It's really ramped up the intensity here. And this is like the first of three main bosses. Can't wait to see what the other ones have in store for me. It's probably going to be horrible. Whoa. Many, many. You probably should have upgraded magic and not strength since you use it so much. Well, I didn't know I was going to be using it so much, in fairness. But it's just because these bloody enemies are bastards. But, how much have we got? 320. We'll be upgrading soon. Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying, Catching up on the Activision Blizzard situation and good golly, what a mess. I know other fans of the channel have mentioned workplace issues and as someone who works in the HR industry, brackets cont. I'll wait for the other half. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> no, it's all right, Will. Okay. Uh, cool. So I'll read this all as one thing. Catching up reactivation Blizzard situation and good golly, what a mess. I know other fans of this channel have mentioned workplace issues and as someone who has works in the HR as someone who works in the HR industry, I need you to know that there are steps and measures that protect you from this sort of discrimination. This is a major failing on Activision Blizzards. Then continue. You you really don't need to super chat all of these, by the way. I will I will just read out what you um what you are typing. Do not feel like you have to drop cash just to get me to read things out. Oh, I'm uh I'm in a bad way here. All right. Yeesh. Okay, so that's everything there. Let's go through this door. See what's on the other side. I'd love some health items. Oh, God. Leave me alone. Oh, snow. <laughs> oh. Will makes a very good point. Seriously, they'll read anything. Bum bum, willy willy, poop, fart, lol. When you're right, you're right. Okay, here we go. Um, I need you to know that there are steps and measures that protect you from this sort of discrimination. This is a major failing on Activision Blizzard's HR team and needs to serve an example, as an example that if your HR team does not appropriately advocate on your behalf as a victim of workplace harassment, they can absolutely be sued. DM me if you need to chat. Wow, that's... Um, yeah, that's... Well, thank you for that. Um, oops. Um... Yeah, it's pretty pretty shocking, to be honest with you. And the fact that people have had such a lack of support is uh, pretty damning, which is kind of horrible. Oops. But, yeah, no, thank you very much for that. And f for the Super Chats. Um. Oh, no, the, but they can use the things. Okay, we're just... Hello. You big many-eyed mud thing. Bye. <laughs> okay. Let's just keep going. Can't be bothered to do those ones in. Yay, plant seed. Okay. This seems ominous. Let's activate this. Why not? Sure, I'm sure it would be great fun. Yes. Okay. Can we afford anything? The Iron Witch's Laboratory. No, we can't afford anything. Oh, well. Great. Well, that's a very good shortcut. Okay, everyone. We've got 39 minutes to teach the Iron Witch a lesson. Oh. You, you little shit. <laughs> Screenshot that. Crows never do what they're told. I'm trying to save lives here, but at what cost? Look at your grandson! <sighs> Don't you understand? Death cannot see those who have marked the masked their life force within an urn. I can fool the Grim Reaper himself. You and I have something in common, little crow. The same employer... Doc Eyebrow just said, Hello, I'm the new director of the Federal Bureau of Crow Troll. Crone Troll. Very good. But goodness, we can't have them finding out about everything you've seen. You are mean. Don't worry, I'll put your ashes in a lovely urn. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. 
the Witch of Urns. Grandma! Let's do this, Granny. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. First blood to me, though. Ah! Oh, cripes. <gasps> Granny? Gra <laughs> oh, wow. Grandma is not messing. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Shit. Granny, no! I love the music! Oh my god! Oh. Shh! <laughs> Granny, no! Granny, no! Oops. Grandma, you sound like a st steam train. That's a lot. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of all of the things that you throw. That's a lot of the things, Granny. Shitting hell. Grandmama, please stop it. You're upsetting the little ones. Fuck. Close, close, close! I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Rosewall Bolton makes a good point. Granny was, was complaining about you smashing her urns. Hmm. Alright. Oh, that was okay. For a first run. Not calling me a little shit again, are you, Granny? Wap wap. I love that noise. Ah, fuck. Should really try and save those and hit them into Grandma, but it just feels like a lot of work when I can just neutralize them. Maybe I should keep them around. Whoa! Yeah, that worked. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. God, when it when when it goes, it goes. Trey Zen has done a super chat saying, looks like you'll have to earn this one, Johnny. Very good pun. 
Very good. We liked it! Shitting hell! Oh, please, little green sprite. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Okay, that was all right. That was okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. I wonder if arrows are a better bet. Because... Oopsie. They are quicker. Oopsie. Yeah, let's stick with arrows for now. Whoa. Oh, that poor little green do green doodad. Lovely little opportunity to get some digs in there, isn't it? Staying that close for that long is not the not the way. Back at Granny! You can hit them up. <laughs> well, it was it was worth a go, wasn't it? Sorry, little screaming green things. Yes! Oh, you foolish fool! Do hit Granny, though. Do keep hitting. Okay, okay. Furthest we've got thus far, but it could all end in a second. So, let's not get cocky. How am I still alive? Ah, I'm not. Ah, <laughs> oh, Leslie Harkup says, Manus says hello, and you were doing awesome. Hi, Manus. I hope you are well. And I hope Tadpole's well as well, but obviously Taddy can't understand me yet, so. <sighs> oh, shit, shit, shit. Go, 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 go. The dog is very excited, so I think my wife... Yes, hello! Come on. Yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. Twelve hits on that. That was all right. Cody Wilson has done a super chat saying, Late to the stream, why is Granny trying to kill? We smashed up too many of Granny's pots. But also, we know too much and must be destroyed. <laughs> Not even kidding. Well, that actually felt pretty good, that one. Yes! Yay! That's a big, big soul. Did it. You're really claying into her. Richard Spear, please. Oh, Steadhome the Gravedigger, we gather here to pause. <laughs> we gather here to mourn the passing of a woman known by many names the Witch of Urns, the Ceramic Sorceress, Earthenware Enchantress, Crockery Crone, and, of course, Grandma. Chris Gummert has done a super chat saying, Long time listener, first time caller. Saw your wedding picture in Twitter. Uh, you kids are lovely. Happy anniversary, lads, lads, lads. Thank you, Chris. That's really lovely. Looking forward to spending some time with my wife this evening. Driven by her maternal instincts and consumed by her endeavours to outwit, outwit death, she filled her life with a passion for magic, reanimation, potions, and pods. Her journey is concluded and she is now at peace. Bow your head in remembrance. Pay your last respects. I'm literally her murderer. Look, I'm standing right there. Her time in this world is over. Do I... Um, do I hit it? Okay, never mind. Hey, buddy. I suppose I will never be rid of this pot for a head. Still, I hope she finds peace beyond life. She can finally be reunited with Grandpot. Grandpa. Silent Cobb has done a super sticker of a Shiba Inu going... Possibly in respect... I'm not sure. Titan Uranus has um, done a super chat saying that urn reminds me of the villain in Far Cry 3. Huh. Yeah, I see what you mean, I see. And Steve Anderson has done a super chat saying for taking da Granny down a notch and as a repentance for the goose puns. It's been a honking good time. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. Slip of the tongue. I quite literally have pots on the brain. Seriously, though. R.I.P. Gran. Okay. No, no. You can't, you can't destroy the urn, can you? Okay. You can't destroy the urn. One more try. Oh, no, never mind. Hey. She died as she lived. With a pot on her head. <gasps> Incredible. I love it. This game is so good. All right. Off we go. Sorry. Bye. All right, I guess we're going to through the door now. Woo. Well, that happened. <laughs> shuffle, 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 shuffle. 
Hello. Strange key guardian warrior things. What's this way? Nothing. What's this way? The Lord of Doors. World's best lord. Oh, Vars. Reminds me of the bad guy in Far Cry 3. Vars. Vars. I'm so sorry. Well done. Good lord. Oof. Well, a crow. Hello there. And how exactly did you get in here? Ah, oh, what's the point in having command over all the doors in the world if the, my servants never remember to lock them? Excuse me. So why are you here? I haven't actually met a crow in many, many years. You still have those beaks? Nice. I sense a vast amount of soul energy about you, little crow. Strange. It feels oddly familiar to me. Oh, is that why you're here? You've come seeking a reward. Um, no, maybe not. May oh, gosh. Don't play with me like that. Very good job, little one. Bravo. Now, be a good little bird and turn them into your vault. There's no need to bring souls directly to me. I have more important matters to attend to. Ciao. Wow. He gads. That's the door, all right. We're going to open it. Death's door. <sighs> what are you doing here? Did you find your assignment yet? Wait, you have a giant soul. But it's the wrong one. I can't process that. How did you manage that? Never mind. Get back out there and find your assigned soul. Gee, thanks, buddy. Welcome to the Soul Vault. I would like to increase my combat abilities. Let's up magic. Oh, but I could up my strength again. Yeah, let's just do magic. Whee! Wellity, wellity, wellity. You know what? It seems like that's quite a natural place to end this stream. I know it's it's 19 minutes early, but um, I, I feel like that thematically is, is just a great place to 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 leave off. Ooh, but wait. There are lots of things around here I can set on fire, aren't they? Or did we already do that bit? I think we already did that bit. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for um, for sticking with me throughout the stream. It's been a really fun one. This game is absolutely fantastic. It's um, out on PC and Xbox. It's published by Devolver Digital. Uh, and yeah, um, I, it's sodding great. It's my game of the year so far. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And as we get on toward the weekend, oh here we go, you have a lovely weekend as well. Um, ah, I need I need Matt. No. <laughs> it's gonna stop playing. Um, yeah, I will be back on Saturday with an episode of Press Any Key Adini. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to film the next episode of Cooking with Kiadini, so look out for that. It means the first episode is going to go live for everyone on YouTube to watch. So that should be a lot of fun. But um, yeah, most importantly, thank you again so much for watching. Um, take care of yourselves. I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tootle off now, but um, it's been really good fun. So yeah, take care, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>